guys, uh, I'll talk to you in just a second. This is pretty loud right here. This guy's got a kick-ass sound system. Scott, Steve, Rick's in the house. What's up, man? Yeah, I heard the news. Oh, I got the phone call right away. Uh, Steve, as soon as it happened, I got the phone call right away. I mean, minutes when it went down. <laughs> All right, let's go back. It's still busy for a Sunday, man. Because you got the Memorial Day weekend here. Maria staying busy, hustling. Kevin's in the house. What's up, Kevin? Maria's still hustling here, man. And it is busy for a Sunday because it's Memorial Day weekend, you know? Memorial Day weekend. So happy Memorial Day, everybody. Memorial Day weekend. Um, yeah, I heard about Red River, man. And uh, I'm pretty sure I know who was. <laughs> I know. Yeah, no. The merchandise tent almost sold out of their hoodies already. They got tons of shirts they sold out. No, it's it's crowded for Sunday, guys. Yingling, she's selling Yingling beer all day. Look, beer line over here. Everybody buying their Yingling beer. Yeah, I know, but I still try. You never know. You're right. Harley's 2023 models over here. And you're all Harley's 23 models over here. Right over here. They're trying to sell bikes over here. Look at that. In the park and on the main street, I used to set up there, Red River, New Mexico. Uh, tons of friends I know in that area, from the Denver area, that actually ride from Denver and they go to New Mexico. Beautiful little town, beautiful area, unfortunate things that happen over there. Um, yeah, it was an unfortunate event that happened over there. I hate to hear that, I really do. Um, I don't like to talk about the uh, incidents that happened out there, but I'll tell you that uh, it's something that carried over from Texas and also Oklahoma. This guy's system is really loud. What happened over there has been brewing for a while, and it already went down in Oklahoma and Texas, and now it's spreading that way. So, unfortunately, that's you know, but what one thing I don't like, I'm going to tell you guys, what I don't like is that when a isolated incident happens, guess what? That gives us all a bad name. It really does. Um, because all the friends that I've met uh, on here, uh, mostly independent writers, right? And I've met MC clubs. I have friends in MC clubs. Um, and I wish that it could be resolved with the without the violence i really do man it's it's a sad situation and it i'm telling you it boiled over from texas and oklahoma and then now into new mexico and uh yeah it's the territorial thing there guys and i don't want to say any names or anything like that but yeah it's a territorial dispute and texas oklahoma and now new mexico it's a territorial thing man what's going on and like I said I wish they could resolve it without any anybody getting hurt but unfortunately unfortunately man Ray Ray's motor lights in the house Darren's in the house it's packed man packed but I'm over here in Ohio by here too oh look he's here too he's here <laughs> it's packed Sunday, everybody celebrating Memorial Day. Everybody's checking out the bike show over here. This guy's cranking the jam. Thank 
What do you guys think? Tell me what you guys think about what happened in Red River. That is a beautiful little town. I absolutely love Red River. It's a great little town to go to, man. Uh, the bike rally there is awesome. Um, when that happened, I got the phone call within minutes. Yeah, some of my friends called me and told me about Red River yesterday. And I'm hearing that that rally's done. It's over, at least for the next two years. Uh, governor shut that rally down right away. All the vendors had to pack. A lot of vendors started packing last night. They're packing today. It's done. After all that mess went on, done. Done. It's, it's over. Governor officially called it over, said it's done, we're over. Uh, they they uh, revoked all the uh, permits for Red River and all the vendors are done. They got to pack, they got to go. They're like, go. You don't have to go home, but you can stay here. So, um, yeah, I heard the news. Everybody's packing. The bigger vendors are all packing today and getting out of New Mexico, Red River, New Mexico. So, people were asking me about it. And, I do know who was involved, uh, but I just don't want to say the names on my channel. If you guys guess it, um, you guys already know one of them. I know both of them. I know who who got into it over there. If you guys guess it, you guys can guess one. I already know that one. But the second one, people are scratching their head saying who it is. But I already know who they are. And I was Man, this guy's system is loud. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> How you guys doing? We came back for more this year. Nice. They're amazing. You like them, right? They stay on, don't they? They do. They don't fly off. They're awesome. Do you wear a helmet or no? I do wear. I wear a half shell. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And it doesn't move, right? It does not move. That's right. And they stay on on their helmets too. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> and it is a beautiful day. I'll let you know that. Uh, I decided I like to go to several rallies um, at certain times, man. It is. It's beautiful, right? I, I juggle rallies around too sometimes because I love Red River. I love that area. Beautiful area, man. Yeah, tragically hit no man. So I already know everything that went down within minutes. I mean, the first pop went off, I got a phone call already. I already got a phone call when that happened. Um, and I know exactly, they didn't even have to tell me who it was. I already knew because um, I'm telling you guys, the it was in Texas and Oklahoma and it spilled over there also as well. Everything spilled over into Red River, unfortunately. And uh, you wanna try that Red River way? is officially closed. Yesterday, as soon as that went I down, the, right the governor the said, room. close it down, no more vendors, no more you selling, no more bike run. rally. Everybody had to leave. They just, they basically shut everybody down, uh, revoked everybody's permits, told everybody pack up and get out of there. So uh, yeah, as soon as that went down, tragic hit no man, everybody packed up and went home. There's the bigger vendors are still packing. They're not allowed to sell. They pull the permits for everybody. Done. So it's unfortunately because I'm telling you, I love that little town, man. It is beautiful. Riding. That's some of the best ridings in the area. Like uh, people that love riding in Texas, like the Three Twisted Sisters. Um, if you go to Red River, that is beautiful riding, man. The uh, what do you call it? The the the, the Sangre, right? What's the name of those mountains over there? Sangre. Uh, Cristo de Sangre. Cristo de Sangre. Yeah, over there. Texas MC, yeah. So I actually have Nomad, yeah. I know exactly what's going on, I do. I got the phone, I'm telling you, I got the phone call right away. As soon as it went down, people called me and uh, telling me, man, you made a good decision to go back to Ohio Bike Week, right? Because it was on the agenda, like I was I was up in the air uh, because two years ago I was there uh, in Red River, New Mexico. I set up Maria's headbands, like we were there, New Mexico, two years ago. Uh, but we get 10 days here and only four days there so of course it was like for the same price I get six more days over here and this year's 100th anniversary Laconia and we're just gonna go out there so that's it we're just we're set up in a better position to hit the East Coast and that's what I decided to do um, and if you guys didn't know uh, several of the rallies in Texas have been canceled due to 
the same situation that's happening over there in, in Red River. That's why I. I heard what happened in Red River. Yeah, Big J, I was there two years ago. Big J, you saw you saw my videos. If you guys look up my uh, videos from Red River, you look at Red River. My videos are gonna pop out over there. A uh, beautiful little town, beautiful riding. Sad that it's spilled over. You you're from Texas, Big J, so I'm pretty sure you're pretty informed. Anybody from Texas. Um, what happened in Texas over there in the Houston area, northeast of Houston, or northwest, right? Northwest of Houston. I guess it started at a bar. Yeah, I actually did videos at that bar, the Motherload. Motherload bar. And really nice people that own it, and it's just sad. It wasn't actually in the bar. When it went down, everything was on the outside. Because a lot of those bars, they don't allow colors anymore. Go figure. But it happened on the outside of the bar. I've been there. If you ever look at my videos, I'm walking into the Motherload bar, and they have a sign there that says, no colors, no clubs, no colors, no cuts, no, you know. It, they have the big sign when you're walking into that bar. So, evil, evil, right? Yeah, but it's shut down. As soon as that happened, boom, done. I'm aware of what's going on. Yeah, Big J knows, man. You're from Texas, so you got to know. It, it was over there in um, uh, Magnolia, Texas, I think, when it first started. Houston, Magnolia, even in Corpus, Big J, was going on over there, too. They're having their little skirmishes over there. Uh, and then about a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago, it happened over in Oklahoma also. Um, and then now it's spilled over into uh, New Mexico. So I, I hate to hear that. I hate to see that. I really do, man. I wish that these guys, uh, because the sad, the sad reality is their grandfathers, their fathers, their brothers, or somebody's uncle. There's, you know, I hate to see that because they probably have a family and kids and everything i really wish it would it would be civilized i really do and i really wish that it could be civilized big j if they could just work it out some way somehow man i, I really hate to hear that because the biker brotherhood is huge and uh yeah when i heard that i'm like oh god i already knew i already knew they stopped. i'm like all right i already knew <laughs> as soon as they told me i already knew man so yeah but i just i don't want to say the names here I, I'm, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that but if you guys uh do your research you'll find it quick you'll find it quick it's it's been uh oh, no innocent bystanders now i heard no innocent it was all and they said everybody that was involved is already uh detained from what i heard well see because i know people uh, Look, I live in Corpus Christi, and that should tell you enough, right? That's where I'm originally from. So that should tell you enough. Uh, and Big J's from San Antonio, so he knows too. San Antonio area, so he knows too. Um, and yeah, I just wish it was resolved in a non-violent way. Um, you know, I was I was brainstorming, and it's kind of it's sad, but uh, I I'm I'm thinking okay. Why don't they do charity stuff and they have a uh, arm wrestling competition or they have uh, you know boxing matches for charity events you want to settle your differences uh, do it for a good cause right I mean set up a, a celebrity boxing match or something like that or arm wrestling competition or whatever man settle your differences in a uh, more civilized way man that's why I would never wear cup yeah so yeah it's sad. Do something else. Raise money for, you know, charity or something like that. I'm telling you, do arm wrestling competition. Do uh, celebrity boxing matches and stuff like that. You know, set something up where, and you raise money for the kids, man. You know, or for homeless or, you know, veterans or something. You guys want to resolve your differences. That's my ideal. Uh, start doing like celebrity boxing matches or arm wrestling or anything like that, man. Work it out some way, somehow. Figure it out. That's what I would do. Really? We'll get mad and start shooting each other in the audience. Yeah. And then, look, I've been, <laughs> I've been in a lot of different places, and uh, and they were not even just bike rallies. Do you guys remember that uh, shooting in Las Vegas? Big J, you probably remember Mandalay Bay. Um, when that guy was shooting over uh, the traffic and 
Yeah, okay. I drove through there when he was shooting. I didn't even know it. I didn't know it. I mean, I knew something big was going on there, a concert or something. The following week in Las Vegas was Bike Fest, Las Vegas Bike Fest. I drove on that road while that guy was shooting over. I went to Las Vegas Bike Fest that year. I wanted to spend an extra week in Vegas. We, we finished, uh, we left early from Bandera Bike Rally and we, I took off and I went to uh, Las Vegas and that nut bag was shooting over the top of the cars and everything. Yeah. And shooting the people, <laughs> um, you know, and the country yeah. concert. Oh. Yeah, I was actually oh, yeah, no, driving yeah. through there. That was nuts, right? And then I find out later. I'm like, what, man? What? My family started calling me. Everybody was calling me. Maria was calling me because I drove there alone. And then Maria flew in that day, the, the following a few days, because she had to go back home. And because we actually made the Las Vegas Bike Fest logo headband, official headband for them. We actually made it for two years in a row for them. I don't go there anymore, uh, but we did it for two years in a row. Uh, I like to I like to move around. I do. I like to move around. But yeah, we were there, so we went through some of that stuff. Uh, Big J, you remember Colorado Motorcycle Expo? All right, I was there. Okay, the year they had to shoot out there. Uh, in Texas, plenty of times. There's a lot of them been down there. Uh, South Padre Island, another one went down. I was there. I don't know. I just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> just gives rallies a bad name. Unfortunately, it's a very small percentage. Yeah, it is. Yep. Abogada. Yeah, so that's what I, I wanted to do a live because I wanted to tell you guys about it. And it is a... Um, it's contained what, what went on down there. It, it's contained. It's contained already, guys. It's, it's an isolated incident. And everybody's going to say, well, see... All the bikers are bad. You see what happened? They're dead. They're in the street. Everything. Uh, no, not all the bikers are bad. It's an isolated incident. It spilled over from Texas and Oklahoma and now into New Mexico. And any of my uh, MC fellow brothers, brothers, please take care of yourself. Uh, try Think about families and everybody is a brother, a dad, an uncle. Uh, they're a family member. They're somebody's son or grandfather or whatever. Uh, if there's any way civilized, you guys can work it out. Do guys do celebrity stuff, man? Celebrity boxing matches and arm wrestling competitions. Uh, you know, WWE style matches and donate it. Donate it to veterans. Donate it to kids and you know, homeless children or something like that, man. It, turn something you know it's that saying you know you got gives you lemons make lemonade right too much of sensitive topic hard to get into on a live stream i know right but somebody asked me a few people actually sent me messages so i wanted to tell you guys about it real quick uh, but yeah so that's just my opinion on it my opinion right and look you guys see my videos you guys know we all have a good time uh you know, two wheel brotherhood is huge, man. We all look out for each other, right? If you isolate it, look, it don't matter what group you are in. It doesn't matter if you're in a biker group. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, any other kind of, not even just an MC club, but any kind of, uh, you're in a team, you're whatever. Look at baseball teams. They get in, they get in brawls on the, right in the middle of the, you know, the stadiums or football or basketball. They start fighting. Every, it's not just that. Uh, so I just I just don't like the fatalities part of it but I mean we all get into our little bickering and stuff like that right but I like to try to keep it positive I, I hope that these guys can work it out and do celebrity boxing matches and arm wrestlings and 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 whatever else they could do uh, you know WWE style you know settle it and donate the money like the proceeds to uh, families in need or veterans homeless veterans or anything like that man turn that lemon into lemonade man that's my that's my theory and opinion about it and I hope I hope that you guys can do that I hope you guys can settle it uh, because look at this man I mean everybody that comes in here every rally that I go to I get high fives thank you the brotherhood is huge man and everybody looks out for each other even as vendors man my buddy John over here looks out for us Here's Maria selling, right? We look out for uh, Eric and Michelle. Eric and Michelle look out for us. Everywhere we go, man, these vendors, these vendors, we ride. They're, Eric's got his bike in there. 
John's got a street glide. Look at this beautiful lady over here rocking our headbands. <laughs> See, this is what I'm telling you. <laughs> How you doing? Good, honey. How are you? Good. You ready for some more? Some more what? She's got some new colors and new designs. Oh, yeah. Take her out. <laughs> See? What a better way to say it and express it. We get hugs, we get love, we get it all, and it's all positive. And everywhere you go, man, it's that little bit, like the small, what does that say? Body alert, Abogada said, yeah. Uh, it's just that, what is it, that saying, the, you know, one bad apple in the bunch, right? The rest of it is all love, man. I'm telling you guys, man, it's all, it's all brotherly love. I'm telling you, sisterly love. <laughs> I gotta tell Maria. Hold on. I'm trying to remember her name. He says, "Hope the vendors get some of their money back." Yeah, that's the other thing. That's the other thing. This is uh, Tom and Vicky with uh, Steel Rider over here. No other couple, and they go on the road and sell their jewelry. I'm telling you, it's a big, it's a big brotherhood. The bikers take care of us, look after us, man. It's, a, you know, 90, 99% is all good. So don't let that make you think anything different. Yeah, it's all good and there's nothing but love. Yeah, 99% of these bike rallies, I don't have any problems with them. Everybody treats us good, man. Vendors took a big hit. Yeah, they did, Big J. The governor closed the rally, closed. That went down, governor said, shut it down. Governor of New Mexico, shut it down. Shut her down. So yeah, I know a lot of vendors that are out there, man. Tons of vendors are out there. Yeah, but it is a hard subject to talk about, Ray really hard but you see the good side of everything see the good side of everything here I'm just showing you guys we're getting a good crowd on a Sunday too Sunday's good over here too for Memorial Day maybe they can uh, file a lawsuit against the parties involved that's probably I can see that already happening yeah that's probably coming man Hurt their wallets, yes. And if you guys need any patches, come see these beautiful ladies over here. Three mom stitches. They're hooking the bikers up. <laughs> come get your patches sewn on. Three mom stitches over here, guys. Right here, look. Three mom stitches. Patch ladies, yeah. These ladies are kicking butt and taking names. That's the saying. <laughs> So there's a lot of people out there afraid to go to the rallies because of that. It doesn't happen at all the rallies. Nope, it doesn't, right? I'm not a rally patch guy. Yeah. <laughs> Either am I. We just come out and have fun, enjoy. All right. Look at Eric. I asked him what's up with them damn blue shorts. Look at that. You see Eric's blue shorts? I gave him hell already. Ray, check out his blue shorts, man. I'm like, what the hell, dude? He goes, I gotta match my kicks. I gotta match my uh, Under Armour blue shoes. So he wore his blue to match. Send me some free cleaner. <laughs> he probably would too, Ray. If you advertise it for him, he would, man. I asked him if he's gonna play golf today. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'll ask him, I'll ask him. <laughs> He's doing a demo when he. <laughs> I'm gonna ask him, Ray. I'm gonna ask him when he's done. I tell you what, Ray. I'll get him to send you a bottle and you advertise it on your show for him, okay? His shit works good, man. I'm telling you, Ray. His stuff works good. I'm gonna have to send one to you and to Darren. Darren's Harley vlogs, man. Yeah, I gotta get some to you guys, man. Best part about this instead of aluminum or chrome wheels, you can take your brake dust off. But if you hit a tire with any other product, what happens? 
Look at, it, look at Eric with his blue shorts, man. <laughs> I don't want to mess him up right now. He's trying to make some money. <laughs> Calling my hipster. <laughs> yeah, Eric does it all, man. Raps. He dances, sings. Man, Eric does it all, man. <laughs> and he's an agent. I'm gonna ask him. Hold on. As soon as he, uh, as soon as he's done with this, this little demo. Twenty bucks out the door. She'll hook you up right there, man. Especially you Hey, we're live and we have some questions. Go ahead. They said, uh, "What time's the golf tournament?" <laughs> they said, "They said, what's up with Eric? What time's the golf tournament today?" <laughs> That's the first thing they notice. <laughs> Psycho killer. So I have some other YouTubers on here. Ray's Moto Life. He wants to advertise your product too. So we'll have to hook him up with a bottle. Yeah. All right. There you go, man. We'll hook you up, Ray. Send me an email with your address, all right? Full name and address, mexipelgmail.com, all right? And uh, you that's can... That's how you can get in touch. Yeah, and that's how you can get in touch. Psycho killer, man. Also plays golf. What, what time is tea time, right? Tea off. Uh, 8 o'clock tonight. 8 o'clock tonight, We're going right. to do a night golf session. Night golf session, right? <laughs> all right, yeah. Send me your info, Ray. Send me your info and I'll get one to you. <laughs> I played uh, for my high school. I played for about 25 years. Damn. I don't know how to play golf. I've tried. I said I ain't got enough money to play golf. I don't know all the people that play golf. <laughs> yeah, th it's a, a stereotype. Even Maria says only rich people play golf. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to work at a golf course. Never caddied, but I work at a golf course. Tish, right, Tish? Yeah, the girlfriend of X. Says I'm far and rich, laugh a lot, but I love the game. Says I rode 300 miles yesterday in the hill country. Nice. <laughs> Big J's always. You're always getting your riding in, Big J. But Maria stays busy. Look, she stays busy. Man. Look, she looks busy. Very busy in here all the time. <laughs> Big J's watching. Hi, Big J. How are you? Ray's watching. Ray's Moto Life. Yeah. Hi, guys. I'm busy. Yeah. <laughs> Eli is so busy. You know what? Eli is so busy, so you guys can see what's going on. But I'm so busy here. <laughs> She's always hustling, man. I was a security guard at a golf course. <laughs> Ray, hey Ray, sometimes when we go back to the RV when you're on live, I'll pu I'll put it on and I'll let you like you guys are just. I think the last time I watched it was just you and Miss, Mr. Mr. Stumper, and uh, I just put it off to the side and listened to you guys talking. And I remember the first time I ever did that, Maria was like, "Who's that?" And I said, "That's Ray's motor line. And then she's hearing Mr. and Mrs. Stumper talking, and she, she's laughing. Now she knows. When I put your uh, live stream on, when you guys are talking, oh, that's Mr. and Mrs. Stumper, right? That's Ray, yeah, uh, yeah. So she already knows now, man. <laughs> Miniature golf. Oh, I could play. I could play Randall R. I got that covered, man. Miniature golf, mini golf, putt putt. I got that covered, man. My wife's best friends with a woman from the Philippines that she works with. <laughs> nice. No, she already knows your voice now, Ray. Yeah, and Mr. and Mrs. Stumper. She's like, oh, that's that couple, right? Mr. Mr. Yeah, so we, she already knows you guys. Because I'll just listen to you guys, man. Yeah, look, look at her. She's staying busy, man. Staying busy. Oops, didn't mean to do that. She's staying busy over there. Look at her hustling. She's always hustling. Always hustling. But... 
it it's another great day and there's not a lot i'll be honest with you there's not a lot that goes on uh this evening at the barrel house it's gonna be small um monday for memorial day i'll do another live for you guys too right uh, i'll see because i'm not gonna stay on here a lot much longer look at maria she's busy look look at that look look at the inside look she's got a lot of people i'm gonna have to get in there and help her yeah um but the party kicks off next week on friday so everybody says oh bike week is 10 days and it sort of is we're here for 10 days uh ray it's uh it's just mexi phil m-e-x-i-f-i-l mexi phil at gmail.com mexi phil at gmail.com um but friday guys it's coming friday like tuesday wednesday thursday there's not a lot going on there's not a lot monday's memorial day you'll still have quite a few bikers out here today and uh also tomorrow but uh the big block party 200,000 bikers here on friday starting friday man they come in all these bikers that you see they'll come out for a little bit in the morning and then they'll take off they go back home right everybody's got to work tuesday then friday they all come back and some there's a huge block party downtown and i don't think i'm gonna get a light signal but i'll tell you what i'll do guys i'll, I'll record it like I did, if you guys like my Myrtle Beach one that I did at night, I'll get my Canon camera out again and I'll record all the night stuff that goes on and then upload it so that you guys can see it, okay? I'll try to do a live, but if, if for some reason I can't, then what I'll do is I'll just record it and then I'll show you guys what's going on down there too. But yeah, so it's gonna stay busy today. Um, if anything else exciting goes on today, because a lot of people are telling me there's not a lot to do, right? I, I've heard that. And I've seen the comments on Facebook, on social media, about Ohio Bike Week, and people say it sucks, and or whatever they want to say, right? Well, it, it's what you make of it, right? And I tell you guys all the time, Har Harley Davidson Mad River, right here, where I'm at, this is where everybody comes the first weekend. They got they got bands, right? They're, they're going to play around. They got bands. They got cold beer. They do bike shows, right? You got tons of vendors out here. You got sunglasses, Art Maria's headbands. What's up, man? <laughs> You got jewelry, you got biker apparel, you got leather. If you guys want saddlebags for your bikes, they're here, right? You want pipes, you want the LEDs and everything. They're out in the outside over there, right? You want Cycle Killer Waterless Wash and Wax? Or my other buddy Larry G with Bug Slide to clean your bikes, man? It's all here. It's all here. Big J says, gotta run, stay safe. Peace out. All right, Big J, man. You take care, brother. Yeah, look. So these are all the service vendors out there this is where it's at the first weekend make sure i've got the right one i will ray if i didn't i'll message you okay um but yeah look all these people here come out here have a good time what's gonna happen is tomorrow you're gonna get about maybe three quarters of the crowd tomorrow then it dies out tuesday wednesday and thursday is gonna die out everybody then come friday next week boom two hundred thousand bikers they're gonna make a ride through here real quick in the morning, afternoon time, and then they're all gonna go out to the Barrow House Saloon downtown block party. 200,000 bikers, so get ready because that's what's gonna happen. I don't know if I'll do anything Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, if I get some exciting, um, how can I say, somebody that I can interview or something, and I'll do something on, on those three days. If not, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to hook up with some of these ladies or, um, anybody else here and that way we can have a sit down and i'll try to announce it um to see to kind of tell you more about ohio bike week maybe if i can get a hold of brad the owner of ohio bike week that way he could tell you guys everything going on but tuesday and wednesday tuesday wednesday and thursday there's not a lot that goes on here but friday is when it all comes down again if you guys are thinking about coming out to ohio bike week don't hesitate this coming Friday, the party continues. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It is going to explode, guys. Uh, a lot of people don't know that Ohio Bike Week gets 200,000 bikers. And if you're up here and you're looking for the riding, go 250 south. You go 250 to 83, okay? You want to take 250 south to 83, and then you hit all the country roads, and then that's where all the nice riding is. If you guys want to ride, and you're like, well, I just I want to do some riding also. Okay, take 250 south. Okay, once you hit 83, Take that and you'll be in the country roads, beautiful riding out there, okay? Um, because Sandusky here, Harley Davidson, 
downtown is kind of like um, uh, on a smaller scale, but kind of like Daytona, right? Uh, Main Street, not a lot of riding, A1A, you do a little loop, but it's about the same, okay? There's not a lot of riding here in Sandusky. It is a destination to come party, okay? Block party, second weekend. And if you guys are gonna come down, I'm gonna warn you right now, Popo, seen them every night, man, on Milan Road, 250, going into Sandusky. Popo, man, I've seen about 15, 20 cop cars pulling people over. At last night, going home from the block party, the small one they had on the pier at the barrel house, they were um, stopping people. I didn't, I didn't see one cop that didn't have anybody pulled over. So bikes also, they're pulling over. So guys, you're coming to Ohio Bike Week, be careful. The Popo is out in full effect. They will be out. They get troopers to come here. They, they know the 200,000 bikers are coming in. So they get the troopers to come here uh, for the week, okay? And I have a feeling, because of what happened in Red River, they're gonna double the size of the law enforcement present here. What, it has nothing to do with that, but they, I have a feeling they're gonna still increase the law enforcement present because of that, and because of recommendations probably from the city. So I really feel like they're calling in uh, additional law enforcement, man. They're probably gonna, yeah, they're, that's, I have, anytime anything like that goes on, Evil Rick, they just, they start doubling up on their police force, man. There'll be a lot more, yeah. That's why we're, we're gonna stay at Bentley's, right? Bentley's is a kick-ass bar, man. Uh, I'll, I'll be doing videos so you guys can see how good Bentley's is. But tons of people know about Bentley's. Every biker, real bikers that go to Laconia know Bentley's. If you're a weekend warrior or this is your first time in Laconia, then you probably don't know about Bentley's. If you've never been there, this is your first time going to Laconia, you're, you don't have a clue about Bentley's, I can almost guarantee you. But if you're from the Northeast area, you've been to Laconia, then you're gonna know about Bentley's. It is a real biker bar, and it is the best biker bar in that area. Uh, they're gonna have concerts, groups, bands, my Arby's parked there. We're gonna have Dr. McKillicuddy's and Fireball the whole time we're there. We're good, man. I'm gonna be next to Eric and John. We're gonna be partying over there. <laughs> I can actually drink there, guys. I, I'm gonna tell you, I drink responsibly because there's, since there's so many popo over here, and we're a few miles down the road, I don't like to sip on grandpa's cough syrup because, uh, yeah, I, I just don't wanna, uh, when I get back to my RV, no problem. But at Bentley's, it's a different story. Our RV is just gonna be there next to us so we can drink all we want and crawl back to our RVs if we have to. <laughs> so that's the next one I'm doing over here, 100th anniversary Laconia but at Bentley Saloon in Maine, that's where I'll be. But you guys can see it's gonna be a beautiful day today. If anything else exciting happens, guys, I will come back on or I'll film it, vlog it, and then let you guys see it at a later time, man. Oh my God, I hope you're not affected, but things can happen fast. Yeah, I don't see that happening here. I really don't, especially at Arlie Davidson. Popo's posted up out in the front, back. They're walking around, no, they're here. And now that that went down, probably a huge police presence on the second weekend for the block party i have a feeling it's gonna happen but anyway all right we're gonna get out of here and guys tomorrow i'll do another live for you guys i know i didn't stay long but i gotta help maria and i'll film anything if i see anything exciting guys i'll get the footage for you okay ray i'll hook up with you later brother and uh we'll get you out some cycle killer waterless wash and wax man all right so you guys have a good weekend and a great memorial day weekend and i hope to see you guys tomorrow right i'll come back tomorrow man everybody take care god bless stay safe peace out i'm out of here man peace